Hey guys, as we get ready for the return of Core Set, I felt like we should talk about some cards that have gone up in price from Core Set. Now, Core Set is a great place for speculation because they typically print cards that are already valuable. So the it's known quantity, right? So if a card is already seen play in modern, it gets printed in a Core Set like Chord of Calling, it probably will see play a modern because nothing has changed. So let's talk about some great cards that have existed in core sets and where the prices are today. Doubling Cube, it's a $10 card. I remember this was a big joke when it first came out because who would possibly want to play two and then free to double the amount of mana that just seemed very expensive and very slow, but in EDH, this is a great card. This is a fantastic card. It's a $21 foil and a $10.50 regular card. At one time, it was below five. It looks like probably below four, a tad below four. And this was one of the most, it's like almost a guarantee to be at 10 at one point in its life, barring the reprint. Beacon of Immortality, this card used to be 7, now uh, this card today is 7, almost 8, it used to be below 5 again. A lot of these cards, they, while in standard they don't see much play, it's very clear that doubling your life total is good. It would be something that people want to do in EDH. Therefore, this card will see EDH play. It just takes a while for it to go up in price. All of these price graphs are very steady increases, and pretty much these were guarantees. Uh, these were not mysteries. These were not... The only risk involved here is the reprinting. And now, I don't want to downplay that risk because it is huge, right? If it's reprinted in a commander deck or it's reprinted in a core set again, or it's reprinted in a regular set, the price will plummet into oblivion. We've seen that with Mind Center. Uh, Avon Mind Center is a card that before reprints was quite expensive and even though they ticked up its rarity, which helped it a lot, still not worth what it is. What Today it's not even close to what it was worth a few months ago before the reprint. Next, a Chromos Memorial. This one is from M13. A, another card that you look at, it's sub $5 at RTR. That's why I love corsets. Corsets are, before it was reprinted, this was also a $20 card, and now when it's pretty much going to be another $20 card soon. They are not taking, it's not like a, okay, is this card going to be good? Is this card not going to be good? You already know if the card's going to be good or not. Because prior to be re reprinting like Court of Calling, um, a Chromos Memorial, to a lesser extent Baneslayer Angel, the second time around, you, you just kind of know, hey, this is going to be a valuable card. This is going to be quite collectible and EDH, EDH players will want a Chromos Memorial because it used to be wanted by ED play, EDH players for $20.00. I can get it for under five, probably sometime in the future it will be at $20 again, barring the reprint, of course. All right, the next card we are going to talk about will be Grave Titan. Uh, Grave Titan was a good card. It dipped down below five and is now back up to 10. Zombies will always be a very good archetype. This was a hugely dominant card when it was legal and standard, so actually it's one of those, you see two type of graphs. When it's legal and standard and then rotates out, it takes a huge hit. Or it just wasn't very good in standard. In that fact, the graph looks different. It's not a U graph. In that case, it's just a straight up graph. Here we do see a U graph. But the U really curves down. Even recently, during Oath of the Gate Watch, you could get it for under $5. One of the better cards, in my opinion, the Titans are all very affordable. Sun Titan is very affordable at this moment in time. So it doesn't just have to be like core sets have evolved from 100% reprints to 
a mix of reprints and new cards. I've always liked core sets from the financial standpoint because you really do know what you're getting, especially with the reprints. Uh, there's not a question as to Urgbog, right? Tomb of Yagamoth, is that going to be a good card in 10 years or 5 years? Yes, the answer is yes because it used to be a very expensive card before the reprint. Now, tutors, as I've said in tutors, you can have this card for under a, a dollar. It looks like maybe two dollars. Rune Scar Demon, something to note of this card. I'm pretty sure it is the introduction promo for one of the decks, uh, meaning that you get a foil one in every deck. Now, the foil one is only nine dollars, which is only a two dollar difference from the non foil. It's always just very, very good. Demonic Tutor on any card is good, even if it costs seven. There's a lot of good value that is obvious in core sets. When you have a new mechanic, it's kind of hard to figure out, is this new mechanic good enough or is it really bad? A lot of times new mechanics are hyped, but because they exist in a bubble, they're okay in standard, but then when you put them in modern, there's not enough support for it since all the support is in the same block. But something like this, a core set where you tag on a demonic tutor, this is not an unknown mechanic. This is actually a mechanic that is very good. Tutoring is very good. All right, now we move on to M13. I'm a little, I don't know why the foil price is not that different. I don't remember this being an introduction. It seems like a very, very strange introduction card to make in foil. But anyway, there's a very small foil price gap. It's $11, let's say 11 and a half in non-foil and almost 15 in foil and has steadily been going up. Again, it was under $5 or some time. If I had to guess, I would say it looks like a 250, 250, yeah. $3 mark, maybe. Fantastic card, and that is why I love core sets. I'm very happy we get them back because you can stuff a lot of value in there, and the cards won't be valuable when they are in standard, but you can stuff a ton of EDHs and mod even modern playable cards in the set. And you already know that sometime in the future, this will be a $10 card. There's no doubt in my mind when they reprinted it that this would be ten dollars because look at what it does and look at what ed edh players want to do adding lots and lots of mana is quite good all right and let's finish off with intruders alarm uh, 850 regular 18 dollar foil at the older core sets you see a very big gap between the non-foil and the foil because foils were much harder to get at the time in terms of if you got a foil it would actually replace if you got a foil intruders alarm you wouldn't get another rare it would be just one nowadays you can get you know a foil mythic and then a regular mythic back then if you got a foil rare it actually replaced the rare which is kind of like ah you know you it's not additional value right so Intruder's Alarm is very good. I think Corset is just a fantastic place that Magic can put a lot of valuable cards. From my aspect, it's so easy to pick these up. These are so obvious that you just have to pick them up when they're cheap, they're under $5, wait a bit of time, maybe this much time, and then it'll go up in price. It'll triple, quadruple, maybe go up even more. I like it. I think it's... I welcome back core sets and I feel like why standard has been so bad is core sets really add that additional balance where you know the power level and you can base the power level of these sets on your core set and it's not these unknown mechanics and it's not these unknown cards you have a basis for what would be good and you can be more creative I think you can actually increases the creativity of deck building by having some staples for the archetypes, right? Like control, should we have a cancel in control? Should we have a lightning bolt? Maybe. I would love to see lightning bolt back again in a core set, maybe make it uncommon or something like that for draft. But could we get a thought seize? Maybe. 
there's these mechanics that we know of and we can expect what they would do. Therefore, that's what Corset is. It's a stabilizing of the formats, in my opinion. And also value-wise, it's sometimes incredibly easy, especially with the reprints, to look at, hmm, a Chromos Memorial used to be $20. They reprinted it. It's under 5 now. Assuming they don't reprint it again, shouldn't it just go up to 20 and for a lot of these cards, it is just that basic. That's just that obvious with some of them. Anyway, that is it. Bye, guys.